start our press conference off with Coach Savage and Kyle Karras of UCLA. Coach, um, if you could start with an opening statement and, and just recapping the season with your team. Well, first off with our team, I mean, I can't, can't say how more proud that we can be. You know, we win 40 games, uh, our, our pitching staff gets, uh, you know, completely destroyed uh, halfway through the year. And uh, they, didn't, they didn't blink an eye. Uh, the pitchers didn't blink an eye. The players didn't blink an eye. Went through a very difficult Pac-12 conference. Uh, won 19 games. Uh, played very well in the Pac-12 tournament. Uh, went to Corvallis, won two out of three. Uh, and then we you know, came here in a very difficult regional. So uh, just in terms of our team, I, I can't tell you uh, how, how, how good we feel about the future. Uh, we have a lot of really, really good young players. And certainly the future is very, very bright. Uh, just on behalf of our program, I'd like to congratulate Butch and, and Auburn. Um, you know, they, they clearly were the best team uh, at the end of the day this, this weekend in this tournament. Um, they, they, they offensed. They pitched. They played good defense. Uh, they're tough outs. Uh, you know, they're everything you're looking for in a, in a super regional team. Um, you know, um, they – you know they they uh, you know this game was really a uh, I thought a tale of you know getting behind the eight ball really early. Um, you know I still think we 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 I still think we back picked a guy at third. I'd, I'd like to have somebody explain to me what that what that call was, what that camera angle was uh, last night. That could have been a, a six nothing game going into night. Uh, then it's a six four game. It's a whole different ball game. Instead of a nine-four game, uh, but no one, no one's really given me a great explanation. Guys, camera guys walked off uh, because of the lightning, so on and so forth. Um, but you know, there's no there's no sour grapes here by no means. I just would like a little bit of an explanation on that. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, Auburn was the best team. Uh, they deserve to move on. Uh, we've been in this position uh, quite a bit, um, and uh, it's difficult. To, uh, to end your season in the, in the regional final. Uh, we did that last year at Texas Tech, and we did that again this year. But at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's about growing. It's about development. And ultimately, it's about, uh, you know, uh, winning. So, um, you know, I'm very proud of our program, and congratulations again to Auburn. Yeah. Yeah. Just I knew I knew we'd fight. You know, we just had we have such great character. Uh, we've been down before. Uh, everybody saw what we did at the Pac-12 tournament. Uh, we won, you know, some some games there that were really really incredible college baseball games. So I knew we'd fight. I knew we'd come back. Uh, you know, um, you know we outscored them today if it means anything. Uh, but. At the end of the day, a nine nothing deficit. It's pretty hard to come back from. But uh, we got a bunch of winners, a bunch of guys that really care about the program, care about you know uh, competing. And so ultimately, I didn't say a whole lot. It was really uh, I knew that uh, the character of this team would come out and fight. Coach, at the end of the regular season, yeah, these guys struggled offensively. Yeah. And did you were you surprised to see them come into this regional and, and, and do what they did? Um, you're talking about you're talking about our team. No, Auburn. I'm sorry. You know, I mean, we watch them on video, we watch them on tape, we, we try to learn as much as we possibly can. Uh, I knew that they were dangerous. I knew they're you know a good a good team. Um, you would you would have to ask Butch that. I I you know I don't I just know that they. You know they they scored 40 runs in the first two games. Um, they 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 had their way with the pitching uh, in this tournament. Um, so, you know, again, uh, you see throughout the country, uh, you know, the, the the runs that are being scored. Uh, it's just uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think they really need to take a good hard look at the bats. Um, there there's 2009 bats. There's 2013 bats. There's 2017 bats. I mean, it, it's a problem. Uh, it's it's the it's the what do they call it? elephant in the room. Uh, they need to really take a good look at that. Uh, my proposal is that everybody uses the, the year that that we're using that we're playing that they use those those that year bat. 
Uh, they become a trampoline effect after several years. It's no secret, but they need to they need to do something about it because you're seeing guys throwing 95, 96, 97 getting hit around all over the ballpark. It, I don't know. It just seems a little little off to me, but. I know that's. I don't want to be going off on a on a tangent. I just I just believe that uh, you know Auburn swung the bats very well and uh, they look they look good to us. So. Yeah, I think it was that he had his curveball working, um, and I know I don't I don't know if he normally has that, but. I think he landed the first one, and I think it was their shortstop said, well, I haven't, I haven't seen that all year. So, um, I mean, his fastball slider, uh, I mean, that mix is good, but it's, it's hittable. But then once he's landing that, that slow curveball in there, too, it's pretty tough to try to hit through that. It's such a differential in the speeds. I think he was the story of the game. It, it kind of gets lost in the, in the two-day deal, but Barnett was clearly the story of the, of the day. Lead-off double, doesn't give up a hit the rest of the way. He strikes out 10. Uh, you know, he walks a few people, but at the end of the day, I think he really was the story. Yeah, it's it's not an issue. I mean, if you want to get to Omaha, you deal with anything, anywhere, anytime. The weather was – we had good weather here all, all weekend, uh, really. Uh, just kind of a blemish last night. But overall, I mean, you look at the Miami Regional, you look at a couple other regionals, they had a lot worse weather than us. The, the temperature was good. Ballpark played well. A lot of good fans. They, they You know, I thought the atmosphere was terrific. Uh, so uh, we, we, we thrive in an atmosphere like this. And – and we enjoy it. We like playing in it. So um, the weather was not an issue. Uh, you know, we wanted to finish the game last night. I think everybody did, but it didn't happen. Uh, you know, it, it gave Treadwell another extra day, so that helped. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, the 9 nothing deficit was, was the difference. I just would say this group is extremely connected, and it's going to be special when we have a lot of the same guys coming back next year too. Um, you know, if someone's down, we just want to pick each other up and um, fight for the guy beside us. So, I mean, it's a pretty special uh, group we got going, and like I said, it's it's only going to continue to get better over the years. All right, last question from Matthias. Um, John, you mentioned the atmosphere. What was it kind of like just kind of, I know, being on the visiting side? Yeah. Witnessing that. You know, very, uh, just very respectful. Um, really good fans. I, I liked it. Um, you know, it's really what college baseball should be all about. I mean, they, you know, root for their team. They get on umpires when they get want to get on umpires. It is, you know, I, th I thought they flowed really well. I really did. I thought, you know. I got to tip my hat to. I've been in a lot of different environments throughout the country, and uh, this one ranks right up there. Um, like I said, it's a, it's not a hostile crowd whatsoever. I think it's a it's a really good crowd that supports their team, and at the end of the day, it's it's healthy for college baseball. Thank you, coach. Congratulations on the season. Thank you.